Yes, I believe there should be some uh, regulation because there are a lot of issues that are still open discussion. For example, liability. In Germany we had a famous case some years ago, a car with an autonomous lane keeping assistant system um, was driven by a 60 year old man. He uh, suffered a stroke, lost consciousness and then the car normally would have come to a stop but the system brought the car inside the city and two people were killed. Now who is liable in such a case? The driver was more or less a victim himself. Um, the car itself cannot be punished, that would be science fiction. What about producer liability? All these problems are very difficult and still open and I believe there should be a European discussion and maybe also a European legal framework to help the judges solve these cases in a way that is acceptable all over Europe. Yes, I believe there are some ethical questions. The most famous ethical question is, of course, the dilemma uh, problem. Uh, but I believe the dilemma problem is a bit overestimated. We had an ethics committee in Germany on it. I was part of that uh, committee and I believe we found a solution that is acceptable not only in Germany but all over Europe. Um, and uh, one should realize that uh, this um, situation uh, of the dilemma is not typical for autonomous driving. It will happen very rarely. What is more important is the technological uh, problem of whether the state or the police should be allowed to use modern technological means to bring people um, to more legal behavior. For example, it will be possible simply to um, break down a car, to stop a car that's going too fast inside the city. You can use uh, the internet and artificial intelligence to uh, make it impossible to go with 200 kilometers inside Strasbourg or Berlin or something like that. Should we do that? Should we use this technology for these purposes? I believe yes, but there must be more discussion on it. <laughs>